Hello, it's Paul Hurst here from Paul's iPhone here on YouTube or from Paul on Twitter here um, today with a brief introductory video to a rather nice program called Hyperlapse um, which is from Instagram and it's a video creation program which is available on both uh, iOS and Android and it allows you to create some pretty cool um, slow motion kind of, um, I don't know what the correct way of describing it would be, it's kind of like time lapse photography I suppose. Uh, it creates time lapse videos which you can pan. So normally when you create time lapse you're, you set your camera up and then you start recording the, the footage but you, you, if you move the camera then it affects the quality of the time lapse and that's because the location and movement of the camera would have to match evenly the um, motion itself else it would look jerky, it just wouldn't look right if that makes any sense at all then uh, you're doing better than I am because it doesn't even made, make sense to me and I've just said it um, but this app handles it differently so it, it creates the time lapse video but then it applies the motion quite separately, the panning motion or the tilting motion. Uh, and it creates an effect that normally costs a lot of money uh, in hardware to achieve and it's all done in software. So I thought I'd give you a quick rundown as to the app um, and then show you roughly how to get the best out of it and one or two little tips and tricks as well. So the app is here. Uh, and when it loads up, you've just got a record button, which you just hit. It's not like Vine, you don't have to hold the button down or anything like that. Just set it going, and you'll notice that there's two timers that appear on the screen when you do that. The first timer, which is moving up, is the elapsed time of your video. So we've now recorded for coming on 15 seconds. And the time that's to the right of that, which is a smaller number of seconds you will see, is the length of the video once the time compression, the time lapse effect, has been added to it. So, obviously this isn't done in real time. You need to record more footage than the final product, if that makes any sense. Again, I'm speaking in riddles today. So you need to keep an eye on the time on the right to make sure that your clip is usable. And then all you do is use the, the camera as normal. So you point it at whatever you want and you film whatever you want. Now obviously this is going to be a really naff video because nothing in the frame is moving. So I'll show you how it works properly later on. Uh, I'll, I'll do a proper one and include it so you can see. But the idea of this video is just to explain a little bit more about the app. There's something that you need to be aware of as well. And that is when you start to record, the exposure of the video is set and it doesn't change. So, I don't know if you can see, but as I move the camera around and point it at different things, the white balance and the exposure doesn't alter. And that's to give a more uniform effect. Um, but it's just worth taking into account. So if you're filming something really bright that's then going to turn quite dark, like a sunset for example, then it, the effect will work because what would happen normally is if you were filming the sunset, every time you took one picture for the time lapse, the camera would, well it may, if you had it in auto mode, the camera would adjust the exposure to try and compensate for the conditions that are getting darker. And the effect would be that your sunset video would be ruined. So this app doesn't allow that to happen. And what it does is it fixes the exposure and it fixes the white balance so that the whatever those details are set when you start recording, uh, you can set them yourself if you want, you can tap on different things um, to set the focus point um, just like you normally would and it would take the reading from that point. 
So it's just worth bearing that in mind, that when you set the recording going, then it is going to um, record the light levels and the white balance at that initial point in time and then apply it to the rest of the video. My tips for getting the most out of um, this is to uh, f film something with lots of movement in it. Skies work great, crowds of people, cars on the road, anything. Record your, your journey to work if, if you're on the train or a passenger in a car. Anything like that will give you some pretty cool results. And remember that you can pan around so normally you can't do that. Normally if you were recording a time lapse video and you started to move the camera, the effects would be shocking. But there's some pretty nifty technology in, uh, that's been programmed into this software that means that you can do that in this case and it will not ruin your video. The pan will be very smooth and it will look really cool. So don't be afraid of trying to record time lapse videos of scenes that are too big, uh, too wide to be taken in by your camera's lens. You can pan around. Rules, as always, don't pan all the time. Don't keep panning backwards and forwards or moving up and down, tilting up and down. Don't do that. Just a simple pan will get you much better and more professional looking results. Check my YouTube channel if you want any more quick tips on making videos. But that's it from me today, and that's a very, very quick introduction to the Hyperlapse app, which is available for free on Google Play and iOS. And uh, if you've got any questions, as always, please do ask away. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.